Greetings to you this day. This is Michelle Strickland, and I'm coming to you today with Conversations with Self. What are you going to talk about today, Self? Well, Self, this world is in a bad shape. Yeah, it is. Everybody's arguing. Wow, my group's better. No, my group's better. We do it this way. No, you should do it that way. It's a lot of bullying going on. So I'm just going to just mention some things to think about, you know, in, re in reference to bullying, okay? Because we got to be better. If not, we're not going to survive. This planet is 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 imploding, you know, and, and, er and everybody's at each other's throats. And nobody feels, nobody seems to be able to find a consensus and be able to get along. I don't see that happening, you know? So what you got, so? Well, let's talk about this. Promote awareness. To prevent adult bullying, uh, individuals and organizations must raise awareness about the issue. Encourage open discussions about bullying in workplace or in the community to ensure that everyone understands that it, it you know, what it entails and that it exists even with adults. We see it on TV every day every day we hear it on the news we're on these everywhere establish clear policies you know our leaders should establish clear policies that, that that deal with bullying and when they have policies set in place they need to enact it enforce them promote a positive work culture that's simple needs to be training and education yeah self there really does need to be there probably are but but there's not a lot of follow through. Promote reporting. People, yeah, they need to do that. We need to, we need to do that. But when people report the bullying, the the officials that are receiving these reports need to act on it in a a fair and just manner. Conflict resolution. You know, teach. We need to teach con flip resolution skills to people to help them resolve disputes without resorting to bullying and this is going on i'm being bullied people think they're bullying me but they're they're bullying themselves they're the ones that's going to be a problem behind it so I, i'm not talking to you self about stuff that i that i don't that i'm not dealing with myself i'm not bothering anybody so i don't understand why all of this attention Lead by example. I try to be a decent person. I do. I do. Am I perfect? No, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. But I'm willing to work with people. But I want people to be fair about it, what they're doing. You know, we need to have more mentoring programs. We need to do regular check-ins, conduct regular check-ins with folks to assess their well-being and, and, you know, just check and see how they're doing. Encourage uh, bystander intervention. Encourage bystanders to intervene when they witness bullying. Yeah, people need to do more of that instead of letting people get 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 killed and destroyed and and hurt. Online etiquette. You know, people feel emboldened behind the, behind the screen to just say and do uh, just say anything to people. Meanwhile, they're using. They're using these, they're not even showing who they really are, but they don't mind, ah, blah, 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 spewing all this hate, but they don't even show, a lot of them don't even show who they really are. That's cowardly. Conflict mediation. We need to have more of that, you know, in, in, all, in all forms, in, 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 in religion, in politics, in the schools, in the communities, we need to have that. You know, uh, have some anti-bullying workshops in the community. Support groups, there should be more support groups for that. And for people to be fair and hear both sides of it, not just jump on the bandwagon of one person's side because they might just be lying to you. Encourage empathy. Zero have zero tolerance policies, you know, 